By the way it's long been known that Disney's distribution deal with Netflix will come to a close when it launches its own streaming service in late 2019. But a New York Times article just reminded fans that beginning with the 2019 film Captain Marvel, Marvel Cinematic Universe movies will no longer stream on Netflix. From that point on, they'll only be available on the Disney platform. For some, the loss of MCU films means the end of their Netflix subscription, CNET reports. Twitter.com slash LW20EF64, Butterfly, at 1 Danny 5 SOS, August 7, 2018 This sucks. Who can afford 50 different subscriptions? Between Netflix, Hulu, Freeform, and now Disney. Oh and CBS. This is the new cable. Jen loves doggos, at Ryder underscore Jenna, August 8, 2018 And here it begins. Netflix's downfall, Casser 1709, at C4SS4R, August 7, 2018 Others seemed unbothered and are willing to make the switch, maintain multiple streaming subscriptions, or come up with another solution. I don't get the hate for the new streaming service. You get every Disney movie, every Pixar movie, every MCU movie and every Fox movie. And all of the shows and cartoons from those properties, including the new season for SW, TCW. What's wrong with that? Help our DJ get a star on the Walk of Fame, at Urge Help, August 8, 2018 YESSSS. I want all the Fox Men, F4, Daredevil, Elektra, Punisher movies, all the MCU movies, all the Alien films, 1 to 4, plus the prequels. At Sci-Fi One Same Thing, August 8, 2018 I have my own Marvel collection on Blu-ray and Voodoo so this does not bother me in the slightest, Spider-Man 1962 Alien Scissor Light Skin Tone, at Cool Dog 420, August 8, 2018 Beyond the fact that Disney's platform will come at a lower monthly rate than Netflix, there are still minimal details about what to expect from the paid subscription, dubbed for now as, Disney Flix. But it's the company's biggest priority of next year and will focus on family-appropriate content, no R-rated movies. A Monsters, Inc. series, a high school musical spin-off, a live-action Lady and the Tramp, and a reboot of The Muppets Show are all in the works, The New York Times reports. We also know that once Disney goes solo, MCU and Star Wars titles, as well as content from Disney XD, Disney Channel, and Disney Junior, will be available only on the Disney service. The first films to abandon Netflix for Disney include a roster of next year's heavyweights like Dumbo, Star Wars, Episode 9, Avengers 4, and The Lion King. Netflix told The Daily Dot last year that Disney material would be available on the platform through the end of 2019. That includes any theatrical release through the end of 2018. Recently released MCU film Ant-Man and the Wasp will be the last Marvel film to appear on Netflix. The streaming wars start next year. Pick.twitter.com slash KWKD7 at Keyshawn Watkins at Key Watkins 51299 August 7, 2018 HTCN at